so we're going to be putting toe grips on 11 year old Louie who weighs 11 pounds. He's size small and I have the toe grips in alcohol. They don't need to soak. We just put them in there because it's convenient to take them out wet. We use the alcohol to break the coefficient of friction and just make them slide on a little more easily. One of the keys to success is stabilizing the dog's toe. So I'm just gently pressing on the pad with my thumb and I'm pressing on the top of the nail with my finger. Just gentle pressure that stabilizes the toe. So when I push, I'm not pushing against his toe and twisting on his own body. I'm just pushing into my own stabilization. And I press the toe grip on as far as it'll go. That's step one. And then step two is to use my fingertips or fingernail and just work it into position. The most common mistake people make is taking this bottom aspect of the toe grip and putting it up past the lip of the nail tip onto the shaft of the nail. And even if it's only up by a millimeter or two, it can't do its job of grabbing the floor when they're in stride, when they're walking. This is the grip zone. This is the critical place where toe grips work, the only place where toe grips work. So again, I'm stabilizing the toe, I'm pressing it on. You're doing great, Louie. And I'm just working the top back so that it doesn't pop right off. And this is creating the grip zone at the back end of the nail tip. We call it the caudo-distal aspect of the nail tip. So again, stabilizing, first just working it on, pressing it on to the right position, and then working it up into place with the top of the nail. Again, this is just, this isn't scientific. I'm just pushing it back so it doesn't fall right off. And last one, working it up there. But if this were to pop around and go beyond the edge of the nail tip and be on the shaft itself, I would take it off and start again. It's critical that we have the grip zone here. This is where they're gonna do their job and hopefully be transformational for, for Louie who struggles on hardwood floors. Thank you.